We're counting down the days now until the transfer deadline. And my word, there's still it's still going to be a busy few days, I think, for Wolves. As always, guys, giving you the latest transfer news and updates here on Talking Walls. Be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you wish. Uh, but big update today in regards to Mateus Nunes. We spoke a bit about him um, and he's moved to Manchester City, which is still in the balance. But things have taken a turn and probably for the worst for, for Wolves and Mateus Nunes' his relationship with Wolves and the fans of the club. Because today it's been revealed uh, that Mateus Nunes has now uh, stopped training with the club and informed the club that he wishes to move to Manchester City. Uh, it's thought that yesterday and today, so Sunday and Monday, uh, Matthias didn't train and he did not have the permission of Gary O'Neill to miss these sessions. So he's done it of his own accord, probably through the people, his representatives telling him to, to what to do to force this move. Um, so it's thought that Wolves want at least £60 million from Manchester City uh, for this move to go through. If, if Nunes stays at the club, obviously he's going to be facing disciplinary action for missing training um, and he'll have to then be reintegrated into the squad after the transfer deadline uh, is shut and, and done. So, really disappointed. It was reported, I believe, uh, yesterday by Fabrizio Romano that a bid of €60 million Euros plus add-ons had come in from Manchester City, um, but Wolves apparently holding out for at least £60 million. Pounds. This is disappointing, really, really disappointing from Mateus Nunes. Um, firstly, let, I'll start off with him. From his point of view, of course, this could well be a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for him to move to Manchester City. Um, and, of, of course, he's going to want to do everything in his power to do that. And he probably always saw Wolves as a stepping stone. But that's probably where about the line is, the line is drawn because he's lost... Any respect that for Wolves fans would have had for him is now gone. Um, it's really disrespectful towards a, a football club. You know, we had players over the years such as Ruben Neves, Adama Traore, who of course wanted to move to, on to bigger and better things, but they never threw their toys out of the pram. You know, they, they kept kept put, they, they carried on putting the Wolves shirt on when we needed them to. Uh, so this is really disappointing. And I think from a Wolves point of view as well, I don't think Wolves have been unfair to Mateus at any point. If if Ma Manchester City had uh, the interest and it was reported and Wolves said, we want £120 million, and, and completely pricing Mateus Nunes out of a move, then I completely understand it. But I think Wolves are being completely fair with all parties. With less than a, well, just over a week was when Manchester City reportedly put their interest in. But just over a week left of the window, they're obviously desperate and Wolves know they've got to take advantage advantage of that. And Mateus Nunes has signed a deal at this club for five years, obviously four left now. He, you know, Wolves have got to get get what their their share and they're not going to, you know, get less money just because the player is kicking off. The squad situation at Wolves now is fragile anyway. And that is probably the club's fault. They shouldn't have had this squad as light um, as it is. Uh, but... At the moment, we're sort of holding on to any half-decent momentum and morale we can get together as a club. And idiots like this would completely crush and ruin it. And we've got to really hope that the, the mental state of our football team is good and they can focus on the football and ignore things like, like this outside, uh, you know, off the pitch. But frustratingly, Nunes is probably good friends and close friends with many, many people in that squad. Um, and that's why it's going to be interesting and could be very difficult uh, to see what happens. But on the flip side, if he goes, and I think he will go with how this has been dealt with now, I think Wolves should bring in a few players. And that is what we have been uh, linked with and, and mentioned today. Now, we'll stick on the Manchester City topic. Of course, over the weekend, there were some rumours uh, that Tommy Doyle was going to be a player that Wolves were going to look at. But that would be almost as a separate uh, transfer. We saw that with Jota and Keanu Hoover, remember, a few years ago. Uh, really, what it ha what happens is it just helps balance the books of both sides with financial fair play, really. Uh, another player the Wolves do like, though, is James McAtee. City are reluctant to let him go on a permanent basis, but would be open to letting him go on a, on a loan deal. Uh, but we'll have to see if Tommy Doyle or James McAtee do come to Wolves in some way, shape or form uh, in this deal. We've had some news today coming from France as well uh, that uh, there's interest in the Strasbourg midfielder Jean-Ricne Bellegarde. Now, 
Looking at him, he's actually quite a similar player to Nunes. Could play as a midfielder, could play out wide, extremely quick on the ball, very talented player. Uh, I believe he's already got four goal contributions, two goals and two assists in fir the first three games of the Ligue 1 season uh, at Strasbourg. Uh, now, there were some reports this morning that Wolves had submitted a 15 million euro bid, uh, but others are uh, reports saying that Wolves haven't submitted an official offer yet, but they they do have representatives going to try and broker a deal uh, for Bellegarde. So, 25 years of age, looks a really talented midfielder, looks a similar player to that Nunes mold, to be honest. And I think, you know, this is good business. If Wolves get the 60 million and, and are, are able to bring Bellegarde in for about 15 million pounds and bring in other players, that could be a very clever piece of business by Wolves. But we'll, uh, we'll have to wait and see anyway. Another one, uh, Kelechi Iheanacho. From Leicester, it's quite surprising that he's not been picked up yet uh, from anybody. Obviously, back in the day, such a highly rated forward um, and just struggled really for consistency at Leicester. He has hot and cold spells. Um, obviously, he's, he's played a few games for them already in the Championship, but Wolves apparently have identified him as well as some other striker options uh, before Friday's deadline. Um, that came from Football Insider, so we'll have to wait and see if uh, Wolves follow, follow up their interest on uh, Kelechi Iheanacho. Um, a big one uh, which came out yesterday, John Percy, the ever-reliable John Percy, the Jose Sarr, he's in advanced talks for a new contract uh, at Wolves as well. You know what, he had a phenomenal performance, a man of the match uh, performance on Saturday. Uh, against Everton in the 1 0 win. Uh, fully deserved his clean sheet with some of the, the saves that he was pulling off. Uh, uh, but yeah, a contract's an interesting one. Of course, there's been a lot of discontent and uncertainty about Jose Sarr's future. You know, people looking at replacement goalkeepers. He's even been linked to Nottingham Forest. There were even whispers that we were looking at replacement goalkeepers over the weekend as well. But that this report pretty much puts that to bed. And fair play, you know what, if the club want to back him. I, I, I rate that a lot and uh, let's see what happens and if he does sign a, a new deal with us just to uh, put off those uh, those interested clubs anyway. Um, a little bit of news in regards to some younger players as well. Uh, Wolves reportedly had scouts uh, watching the Europa Conference League a couple of weeks ago looking at the Rosenborg talent Svier Nipan. Uh, 16 years of age, already playing first team football, but a lot of teams uh, from the Premier League looking at him. Manchester City, Everton and Brighton also said to be there, keeping their eye on the young talent. So uh, let's wait and see what happens uh, with him. And Bendigood's Boller, never put on a wall shirt. He's set to leave the club on loan with an option to buy. He's going to be going back to Switzerland. Of course, he's been at Grasshoppers for a few seasons. He's going to be going back to Switzerland to join Servette. Uh, like I said, on loan with an option to buy and the medicals for that were scheduled for today. So an official announcement for that one will be imminent anyway. But uh, that is all for today. But an ever-changing scenario. I'm sure we'll do one, one or two more of these videos throughout the week. Uh, obviously, Wolves play Blackpool this week. We've got the podcast coming out. Uh, probably Wednesday, I'll do another one of these videos or the preview and so on. So yeah, it's going to be a mega busy uh, week. I'm not sure if we're going to be doing the transfer deadline day stream unfortunately we might do the last couple of hours i don't know yet but i think a couple of the lads are away so we'll uh, we'll wait and see anyway guys but do enjoy the rest of your day and your week i'll catch you all very soon be sure to hit the like button subscribe to the channel and i'll see you later